Brian Sensei here. Have you ever wanted to create personalized certificates for your students or participants in a program? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this using Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. Let's check it out. All right, so first thing I want to show you is that I have created a folder called Certificates here. And inside that, I have an Excel file of my student graduates for the fall 2024 semester. Just want to open this up and show you really quickly. So I have my student name column, and I've typed in all of the names of the graduating students. This will be needed in order to add these names into the certificates. So I'm going to close this up. Now we're going to open up Microsoft Word. Just search Word and you'll find it there and launch away. I'm going to start a blank document. All right. First thing I need to do here is switch the layout of the document. So I'm going to go to Layout. And because my certificate is set up in Landscape Layout, I'll go over here to Orientation and I'll change it to Landscape. All right. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is adjust my margins because I'm going to bring in the image of the certificate and I'm going to want really narrow margins so that my image fills the majority of the page. All right. Now, I'm going to go up and insert the picture from this device. All right, right now the image is in my downloads folder because I downloaded it from Canva. So I'll find it there and insert. And boom, shakalaka. There's the certificate neatly arranged on the page. Now, if it's not quite centered, we can go up here to home and we'll use our text alignment to center it. Also, if you would like to have it fill the page more, you can drag one of the corners and fill it a little bit more. Another way to do this is to click on your image and then click the layout options icon right here. And you can go to above text or you can do behind text. Actually, in this scenario, we need to do behind text because we're gonna have text on top of the certificate. Now, once you do that, you can click on the image and move it freely anywhere you'd like. So I can get it even larger and filling the Word document even more. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to bring in the student names through Mail Merge. So to do this, I'm going to go up here to Mailings and I'm going to click on Start Mail Merge. All right, in this scenario, we are essentially creating letters. So we'll go ahead and select letters here. Then we're going to click on select recipients. And we're going to click use an existing list because I already have my list of students in Excel. All right, here I can navigate to the folder that contains my list. There it is. Now here it's going to ask me which sheet in the Excel spreadsheet am I wanting to use? In this case, there's only one sheet. Down below, there is an important checkbox. Does the first row of data contain column headers? Yes, mine does. So I'm gonna keep that box checked and click OK. All right, now the list is connected to this Word document. The next thing I need to do is create a text box to place the student names in. So here I'm going to go to Insert, and then I'll go over to Text Box. I'll then select the Simple Text Box. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and move this down to where I want the student names to appear. And I'll go ahead and delete that text out of there. All right. So now I'm going to make sure I've got my cursor active within this text box. Then I'm going to go back up to mailings and I'm going to insert merge field. I'll select student name. And you can see here that it has dropped in a placeholder called student name. 
Now, the cool thing about this is you can modify the font size and style. So I'll go ahead and select it. I definitely want to make this larger and I can choose a different font type. All right. And I can also make the text box a little bit wider because some students may have longer names that need to take up more space. So you can make sure your text box is nice and wide. And then you'll want to make sure that this is centered. So we'll go up here and center our text. All right, that's looking pretty good, except you can see it's covering up some of the other text. That's because this text box has fill color inside of it. So I'm going to go up here to shape format and I'm going to go to shape fill and we're going to click on no fill. There we go. Now we can see the text underneath it and the line under the student name. However, the last thing is you can see that the text box has a border. We do not need the border. So we're going to go back up to shape format. We're going to go to shape outline and we're going to say no outline. So now if I click off of it, boom, shaka laka. This looks exactly the way I need it. Okay, now I'm going to go back up to mailings and here I can click on preview results. All right, there we have the first student. I can also click here to look at the next student and so on and so forth, just to make sure that they all look good. I think they're looking nice. I could even go a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and select this again and go back to my text size and make that a little bit larger. All right, let's go back to mailings and preview that. Yeah, that looks really nice. I'm really liking the look of this. Okay, so now all I have to do is come here to finish and merge. Now you have some options here. You can edit individual documents if you want to make modifications to each one. You can print them all out or you can send an email. In this case, I'm actually going to print the documents to PDF. That way I can save them on my hard drive and send them out to students individually. All right, so I'm going to print documents. I'd like to print all of them. I'll click OK. All right, and so instead of using my printer, I'm going to change the printer name to Microsoft Print to PDF. All right, and then I'm going to click on OK. And I'll go ahead and save it in the same folder. And save. Now printing, and we are done. Okay, for now I'm going to save this because I might want to use this in the future. So I'll go up here to File, Save As, and we'll make sure this is saved. I'm going to call it Certificate Template and Save. All right, so I'm going to close out of this and then let's jump back into that folder. All right, and here is the PDF. Let's open it up. All right, and look at that. We have all the certificates here in one PDF ready to either print out at some point or I can separate all of these and send them out individually however I'd like. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to break apart each of these certificates out of the PDF file into individual PDF files. You'll find a link in the description below. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.